Good morning. It's the 12th of autumn, fall, or whatever you want to call it. Popri seems to be having the same issues as she was having before, but that will subside once she has the baby, so we don't have to worry too much about it. The dog is in here somewhere, so I will summon the dog and throw him a ball as I do every day. It's part of the daily ritual that we've all grown to love and adore. So, go get the go get the ball, puppy. All right, he's got the ball. He's very happy, and it's about all I really need to do with him. So I gotta pick him up, kind of counteract his abilities. And if we check the calendar, tomorrow is moon viewing day. I don't even have to check anymore, and we don't have anything to worry about until the 21st after that, which will be the sheep festival, which hopefully we'll be able to win. If I check the animal machine as of right here, it seems as though Cynic has reached eight hearts, which means we will win the festival. I might continue to try to get him up to nine hearts, but hey, go golden wool is go, go, golden wool. Go, go, golden wool. Which would be pretty cool. Too bad the sheep doesn't actually turn gold after winning the competition. But nonetheless, we don't have to worry about that because this one is getting a good present. And so are you, because you're here. And whoever gets the next one, ah, it's you. Everyone wins. I'm never giving you a present again. If I... It's like, I don't, I wasn't trying to have a big conversation with you. I just wanted you to take the cheese and leave me be. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anything's grown. It seems my whole plan has fallen apart of having everything offset by a day, which was my original plan. Didn't happen. But it looks like we can chop some of this, which is pretty cool. If we check the screen here, we'll see that we have 98 fodder left, which is not enough. We need more fodder than that. We're gonna run out way ahead of time, but that's okay, I guess. We'll just have to figure it out as we go. This was a bad cut. I should have been over one more square, but I guess I can fix it with a couple of well-placed or poorly placed swings of my sickle. So I'll have to do fully charged shots here, and then a fully charged shot there, and then if I just keep saying it, I can waste even more time by chopping more and more grass over time. I don't know how long it takes for Popery to have a baby, but I really I'm excited for that thing to come into the world. Okay, I cannot chop that yet. I can't believe all this stuff. We gotta make sure we have a rock too, because if we don't have a rock, I can't get all the recipes. But you can't get all the recipes anyway, so I don't really know if it's that big of a loss. But we can get quite a few of them. These uh, Harvest Moon games don't get localized very well, and sometimes things get left out, which makes certain things impossible. So I don't even know if there's a 100% ending that's any different or what, what it would be. Otherwise, I'd be totally fascinated in doing a 100% run, but a 100% run is impossible unless I play the Japanese version, which might be fun, but I can't read that much. I mean, I can read it, but I don't know what it means. I can say it, I can read the words as long as it's in hiragana or katakana. I can't read no kanji and tell you what water is, but can't write it. Okay. Japanese is a very hard language to learn, at least for me. I should have started when I was smaller and like, cause I was like super into everything when I was like 13 or so, maybe even younger. I was watching like Dragon Ball Z and stuff, but I didn't know that anime was Japanese back then. I just was like, ah, it's Dragon Ball Z. But nonetheless, my language skill is not very good. I can tell you Apple and stuff like that, but I don't have like any accent skills or anything like that. So I am done talking about that now. It's very impertinent. I guess it was kind of pertinent because I was talking about the Japanese version of uh, Back to Nature. But I could probably learn the vocab. I mean, they don't talk about that many different things in this game. I thought about getting the Japanese version of the remake but I decided to wait, which is a forever wait, because that's been out in Japan for, like, months now. But eventually we will get it, and I will play it. Probably not on the channel, though, because I'm just going to play it by myself in a dark room and just, like, be afraid of the world for a couple weeks and say, Don't talk to me, I'm playing, I'm playing Friends of Mineral Town Remastered Extreme. I didn't feed the chickens, I just left. That is not something that can fly. I'm gonna have to go back in. Hello, chickens. We're kind of flying through the fall, but that's okay. I like flying through all the seasons. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a crazy last season. Okay, I gotta feed every chicken. I can't just leave the chickens alone. 
Although next summer, maybe I'll just throw them outside and just be done with be done with it. Don't even have to feed them. That's probably a good idea. I mean, I can just... But it's going to rain a lot in the fall, so I don't really want to mess with it right now because that'd take forever. Maybe I will. Let's build them a pen. But I'm not going to put them out there today because if I put them out to there today, it's going to rain in two days and it's going to be awful. Okay. And I'd probably end up cutting it out of the video anyway. It'd just be like a really... Like a jump cut of all the chickens being outside. Would save me a lot of time though, feeding them. Same for the cows, really. But there's 20 of them, so that'd be like so much work. And it's too late, I've already destroyed all of my grass that I could have had planted right here. Actually, do do do, I didn't actually cut this grass. I should have moved it back one though, so I could actually, hmm. Let's put this fence back up. Not that I'm going to put the animals outside, but I could if I wanted to. That might do me some good. Okay. I don't know I'm talking like that. Okay. Like, for instance, if I put... Ah, that's too close. Let's put it here. We're going to put the fence up. And you know why? Because why not? Fences are made to be built. And destroyed. Okay. Maybe. There we go. You can't put the fence on top of the seeds. Well, I have all, I had a, enough seeds to build the fence again. I don't need corners. Corners are for squares. This is an oval. Doesn't need anything. This is a lot of lumber, though. I'm gonna do this anyway. Maybe I'm gonna be crazy and put all my animals outside. It would take forever to put them all back in, but... I don't know why I'm doing that today. I'm like, I'm like putting vibrato in half the words I say. Let's go. It's gonna take a long time. Which is A-OK. -okay. So once it hits 5 p.m., I'm gonna check on the on Chef's work and see how far along Chef is taking care of the cows and the sheeps. One day I'm gonna go in there to check and he's gonna be done. And I'm gonna be really happy with him. I'm gonna say, good job, Chef. You did it. You've made everyone here very happy. Okay. But until then, we have a long ways to go. We have to keep putting all these things in here. For all of time. There we go. Alright. Too bad you can't make, like, fence gates and stuff. I mean, later Harvest Moon games have stuff like that, but not this one. Very cool to have gates. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm putting the fence up. I'm going crazy. Very slowly going crazy. But I think it's going to be worth it when I put all the animals out here and I have to put them back in tomorrow. And I'll curse the day that I did such a thing as put all the animals in and out and all that stuff. But, you know, things happen. Sometimes you just can't, you know, know what's gonna happen. You just gotta build fences sometimes. And sometimes you have to build a fence for a while. And then it's good. Okay. This is quickly, quickly deteriorating. I don't know what to do. Help! Something happened. Zach! You need to get over here. I'm, my sanity, I lost it somewhere in my garden. Okay. We're just gonna finish this fence. And maybe I'll even build a fence for the chickens and put them all outside. Who knows what I'll do. Anything could happen. It's a crazy world out there. Alright. Fence building. Maybe tomorrow I'll build another fence for the other chickens. Not the other chickens. The only chickens I have. I apologize. I'm having a lapse in judgment. Do I need corners? I'm not entirely sure. Hey, Zach. I didn't make any money today because the Harvest Sprites didn't get the work done. Aha! The fence is not complete. Let's just put the corners on there. For some reason, I feel wrong not having corners. Like, I feel like the dogs could get them. But I'm never up late enough for the dogs to get them. Eh, we need one more. I thought I took enough out, but I guess I didn't. Here we go. And... Hurrah! Fence complete. We can't put the animals out here until the fence is... until the grass has grown, but this might actually be something useful to me. Though I don't think this is enough to feed 20 animals for more than two days. So I might have to make this field bigger. Or maybe I'll just... I'll make it deeper. Or wider. This way, probably. I'll probably just widen it out this way the rest of the way, all the way to this side. And we'll see how it goes from there. Because why not? I don't know. I'm feeling the mood for it now. The harvest moon. Okay. 
Let's check inside here and see what we got. As far as everything goes. Looks like they're mostly taken care of. As long as they're all fed, that's all I really care about. Who are you? I've noticed that Cynic likes to hang out in this top left corner, so maybe he's up here. I hear them shipping things, so that's probably good. Cynic's in a good mood today. Aha! Now I know how to find Cynic at any time. Okay. I don't care about getting produce and stuff. Get out of my way. All right. Come on. This is Okay. Anyone who watches me play this game and they go, why does Etza use harvest sprites all the time and doesn't take care of his animals himself? This is why. I cannot stand trying to walk around them all. They're just, they're so slow and stubborn. The harvest sprites can just run right through them. And I ain't got time for that. All right. It's time for me to go to bed, I think. I've been ranting and raving long enough. I don't know why, I always just pause during the loading screens, like my brain's actually paused with the loading screen, like I'm loading myself. So, good night, and I'll see you in the morning.